Hi, my name is Alanda. I am on a GLP-1 weight loss journey. I am today sharing with you five tools that I've utilized to determine what my body is doing as I'm on this weight loss journey. I will talk about my DEXA scan, my in-body scan, my home body pod, my Volt 360 body scan, and of course my Rimfo scale that I have at home. All of these devices or tools I have used to help kind of understand what's going on with my body. Now, with the exception of my home Rimfo scale, everything else was done within a two to three week period. So I understand the numbers are not going to be exact. There will be room for error, but for the most part, the numbers sometimes align. <laughs> so come with me as I compare the numbers for my journey. Again, if you're new, my name's Alanda. I'm a 48-year-old mother, six, a high school teacher, and I am on a GLP-1 weight loss journey. I started my journey back in February, 2024, and I've been on it roughly 20 months. Whew, I've lost nearly 75 pounds. However, I'm dealing with inflammation right now. Who knew this was gonna be a part of my journey? But any given time of the day, I can be in a 10-pound range. Um, it could be something that I'm eating. It could be something that I'm drinking. My doctors and I are in the process of weeding out what the culprit could be. So if you have not subscribed, like subscribe, and hopefully <laughs> before the end of this year, we can figure out what the hell is going on with my body. But as I go through each one of these, let me give you a little bit of detail about what they are, just in case you're not familiar with them. Considered the gold standard, DEXA, the body composition analysis, provides highly accurate measurements of total body fat percentage, lean mass, and bone density. The M-Body uses a bioelectrical impedance analysis which sends a weak electric current through the body. It also measures muscle, water, and the overall body composition. The body pod is a high-tech body composition analysis. It offers 45 health matrix to determine your body makeup. Volt 360 Body Scan uses the same BIA principles of the M Body Scan. It gives a algorithmic detail report based on your body. Now, based on my actual age, I am 48 years old. When I had my DEXA scan, it gave me a metabolic rage of 50. A metabolic rage is basically the age your body is giving off as it burns off calories. So I'm burning off calories, according to my DEXA scan, of a person who's 50 years old. However, when I did my in-body scan, it gave me 58. <laughs> my home body pod is saying 56. My Volt 360 body scan said 49. And my Rimfo scale here at the house is saying I'm 80. <laughs> so yes, it is a huge range of um, ages. But please know with my Rimfo scale, it's not using as many points of trigger as these other devices. It's only measuring from my waist down, my top up, it's giving an estimate. Now, when I took these um, devices or when I use these devices, they weighed me. So I'm gonna put the numbers up here right now and I also have my little cheat sheet so I can give you the real accurate numbers. When I had my DEXA scan in August 16th of 2025, it said I was 193.5. Now I did weigh myself while I was there, but um, those numbers were off by like point something. So 193.5, I think on the paper it says 194, okay? My in-body scan I did 15 days later on August 30th, and that said I was 196.3. Okay, so again, I deal with random inflammation. I could be 189 or I could be 198 any given day. <laughs> Moving on to my home body pod, it gave a weight of 198.3, and that was on the same day I did my in body scan. So August 30th, it gave me 196.3 in body, 198.3 at the um, at home at home with my home new <laughs> body scan. Now in September, I decided to try a new gym. And as I went to that gym, the um, part of the welcome package is that you actually do their version of an in-body scan. And that is called a Volt 360. I told the guy, I'm practicing no scale September, so please don't show me the number. So when I took 
when I stood on it, he, he eventually covered the number so I could see the number. And then when he gave me the printout, he marked it out. So you will not see um, my number for that because I don't wanna know it. I don't wanna know it. I'll look at my, my weight come October 1st. And if you're not sure why I'm practicing no scale September, I will link a video here and down below. You can see the three reasons why I'm not weighing myself. And then I recently found out that my ripple scale at home is not connecting to my cell phone. What the hell? So <laughs> the last range that I got was actually from June 18th, that right? June 18th, yes. So the last reading was June 18th and I was 192.6 pounds. What the hell? I've been weighing myself all this time thinking they're connecting, 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 and they're not. <laughs> With that being said, I'd like to thank Mochi Health for sponsoring today's video. Like I stated, I am on a GLP-1 weight loss journey. I play between name brand and compound. If you are thinking that it's time for you to jumpstart your health and create a better you, can I suggest join Mochi? You can click on the link below, take the online quiz, schedule with a physician. The two of you will discuss if any GLP-1 would be best suited for you. Semaglutide is $99 a month. Terzepatide is $199 a month. Now, Mochi Health does have a $79 membership. If you use my code below, you'll get $40 off. So you can actually start your semaglutide journey for $138 per month, or you can start your terzepatide journey for $238 your first month. Either way, if you're looking to lose weight and create a better, healthier you, may I suggest Mochi Health. Well, let's get back. To comparisons. Now let's look at my body mass index. The body mass index is a tool used to help determine where your body's weight is in range to healthy, underweight, or obese. Based on my DEXA scan, I was 34.9. Hmm. My M body gave a scan of 33.7. That's pretty close. My home body pod said 35.1. That's good. My Volt 360 said 35 even, all right. And my home Rempho scale said 34.1. So when it comes to my body mass index, my BMI, they are all pretty much in line, 34, 34, 35, 34, pretty much all in line. So definitely no issues with that. Now let's talk about our lean body mass. We talked about the fat <laughs> of, with my body. Let's talk about lean body mass. That is basically everything except for the fat. So that includes your muscle, your skeletal, so your bones, um, water, and your organs. When it came to my DEXA scan, it said I was 123 pounds of lean body, which I think is great. Now my doctor would like to see me at 135 as my ideal weight. I personally say 150 because I feel comfortable with that number. I was that number before, I wasn't on medication, I felt healthy, I felt vibrant. Um, and I think I can maintain that. Time will see. But I do feel like um, being at 150 would be ideal for me. Like I said, she wants to see me at 135. At 135 and my body already being 123, that's a very limited number for fat. Not to say it can't happen. I'm just being realistic with myself. So again, Dexa said 123. My in-body scan said I am 120, 120.2 pounds of lean body mass. My home pod said 111.3. Think they off a little bit. Think they off. <laughs> My Volt 360 said 132.7. So now we're in the 130s. Uh, and my Renfo scale said 129. So I feel comfortable in saying that I am definitely somewhere in the mid 120s, uh, if not touching 130. That, like I said, that 111 is a little concerning, but as I look at my app, it's pretty consistent. It wasn't just like a fluke that my home scale has seven readings and that number of 110, 111, 112, 111 is pretty consistent. I weighed myself in February, March, April, May, June, July, and August and it's still giving the same reading. Um, I'm not sure why, that's, that's very interesting to me. Now let's talk about the percentage of body fat. So we've covered everything in my body except for the fat. Based on my DEXA scan, it said I'm 38.8% fat. My in-body said 34%. 
My home body pod is saying 39.1. My Volt 360 body scan said 35. And my Rimpo scale said 44.5. Hmm. So that gives me a range of 35 to 45. That's a pretty nice little chunk. That's 10% difference. So that is a little concerning. Um, I really don't know what to do with those numbers other than just have them. Your BMI measures where you are in comparison to other people. Are you underweight, obese, or, av or average, or obese? So that's a range. Your percent is giving what's actually going on within your body. I hope I didn't confuse you. The basal metabolic rate is the minimum number of calories your body needs to perform essential life-sustaining functions while at rest. This includes breathing, circulation, and cell production. When I took my DEXA scan, it said my minimum would be 1465. Why is this important? Because on a GLP-1 weight loss journey, you tend to want to be in a calorie deficit. So 1461 is pretty good. My in-body scan said I need to be, or I am at 15.48. My home body pod is a little low. It's saying 13.81. So my home body scan, and please know I do, um, because I only use it once a month, I do charge it like a day before, and it pretty much stays in the same spot. I don't like to touch that one because it's too tempting to stand on it and get all the data. It gives a lot of data, data in which I don't know what to do with. Truth be told, I don't know what to do that with that information. My Volt um, body scan gave me 1670, which is a little on the high side, but my Rimpho scale is saying 1495. So again, my Rimpho scale and my DEXA scale are pretty much in line. 1495, 1465, so pretty much in line. Okay, let's move on to my trunk. So I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty of what is going on in my trunk area. Based on my DEXA scan, it stated that I am 31.7 pounds in my trunk. So my trunk, she, she trunking, she trunking. My in-body scan said I am 38.4. My home body scan says 37.4. My Volt body scan says 37.35. Now, again, I can't give you what my Rimpho does because it doesn't actually break it down. If it does, this girl ain't found it. I've been all up and down in that app and I have not found uh, a breakdown of my trunk, my arms, and things of that nature. So let's get into those things really quick. If you look at the fat content in my limbs, everything pretty much stays in line as far as my in-body, DEXA, home, and Volt 360. As we look at the measurements for my limbs, there are not too many different variances from tool to tool. They're relatively close in measure. Now, as you look at my information as it pertains to my limbs, they are all pretty much in line. There are little areas of variance, but for the most part, they're within a nice little range of being close, like four pounds, 0.9 versus 4 pounds, 0.3 versus 4 pounds, 0.5. That's pretty much in line. So I think as far as it's measuring my limbs, they're doing great. They're doing great. Extracellular space is everything outside of a cell, including the fluid and the matrix that provides support, nutrition, and a medium for communication between our cells. As it relates to my DEXA scan, we are unable to determine the separation. However, my in-body states that I'm 32.6 pounds, home body pod said 32.4 pounds, Volt 360 said 33.5, and unfortunately, my Rimpho app did not give me this information. Intra, meaning inside, cellular water is the fluid found inside of our cells. This makes up about two-thirds of our body's total water content. This is essential for our cellular function. Again, the DEXA did not break this down. My in-body gave me 55.1, home 57.4, and volt 61.9. As you can see, we have many tools that are available at our disposal. Many people choose to do a DEXA, many people choose to do an in-body, many people choose to do a, in, a rental scale. Whatever tool you decide to utilize, please know that there will be some variations. But for the most part, I can say mine were pretty much in line with one another. Some areas more in line than others, 
But again, that is to be expected in room for error. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I probably will not do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are they time consuming, um, but I, I do tend to get a in-body scan quite often, at least twice a year. And this year of 2025 was my first time doing the two DEXA scans. I actually was able to get a package deal. So I paid for one in March and then um, I was able to utilize the second one um, in August. So that was a benefit for me. I hope you all are doing well. Again, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.